Underneath the roof depot is soil that is filled with arsenic. Arsenic poisoning, according to the CDC, leads to skin lesions, yellowing of the skin, and skin cancer, bladder cancer, lung cancer. Um, so if the city is to demolish the roof depot, which they plan to, arsenic poisoning would happen to everybody in that neighborhood. Um, the East Phillips Neighborhood Institute has repeatedly asked to put a dome over the demolition to stop the arsenic from spreading. The city has denied that. Um, and they are just refusing to collaborate with the, with the East Phillips people. Because right now, this community is being threatened and now we're being held hostage by our own taxpaying dollars, you know, in court. We're being asked, pay $4.3 million if you want to breathe uh, clean air. We're being told, pay us $4.3 million if you want a fucking chance. And that doesn't even guarantee we will be successful in court. Again, the East Phillips community is being asked to raise money it does not have. I've been in there standing. No, nope. this, that's it. This is undemocratic. We're going to be in the overflow room, sir. Let us in. Let us in. That's against the law. I want to thank residents who are here to stand up against this demolition. I'm so sorry you have to keep coming back here. But you know, and I hope you know that you are part of a powerful legacy of centuries of people who have been resisting colonialism and white supremacy. That's right. And you should be proud of yourself for standing up today. Sorry, what was that? Okay. Calling the roll on the proposal to delay for one cycle to the council meeting of February 9, 2023, the contract for demolition of the Hiawatha campus. The delay on council member Travis. This is the motion to delay for yes. one cycle. Aye. 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 Council member Payne. Aye. Council member Koski. Nay. Council member Shuttai. Aye. Council member Chavez. Aye. Council member Ellison. Aye. Council member Vita. No. Council Member Rainville. No. Council Member Goodman. No. Council Member Wansley. Racist fuckers. Council Member Johnson. Oh, Council Member Vice President Thomas No. President Jenkins. Nay. No. What? Six eyes and seven nays. That motion fails, and now we have in front of us the contract for. So what we're standing in is the East Phillips Arsenic Triangle. It got designated status in the early 2000s where an old pesticide plant dumped and released arsenic into the neighborhood. Over 500 homes were impacted. And since then, uh, the federal government has been coming in and digging out people's yards and taking out that arsenic. Um, but what we're seeing, that pesticide plant, when it, when it was running, this building was uh, built and constructed while it was in operation, meaning much of that arsenic was encapsulated underneath. And the city in its uh, in trial admitted that there is a plume where for years it denied the existence of it. And why it needs to demolish this building is to quote unquote, uh, you know, 
rehabilitate, clean that out, but in fact, none of its uh, demolition or construction um, permits indicate that we'll, they will do any of that. We're gonna say no, no demolition. When I say no, you say demo, okay? No! Demo! No! Demo! No! Demo! No! Demo! No! Demo! Let them hear us. No! Demo! No! Demo! No! Demo! No! Demo! We don't want that here. What's this? Now you have to remember this passed and then Fry is the one who vetoed it the first time. So we get the list of the names who voted with him and wherever we see them, we attack them in public. Not physically, not physically, we use our voice. Yeah. And we humiliate them. Because you see the, the care that these people tell us and we see it in their heart. They are the exact opposite. They do not care one bit about us. They do not care. They want the money, they want the fame, they want the recognition. Yeah. But if they keep this up, we keep it up. We find out where they're having their events. And we interrupt their little photo ops, especially Fry. He is a liar. I would tell him that what he's doing is, um, is creating yet another problem associated with colonialism, with pollution, with climate change, with um, environmental racism and that these decisions that are made today have impacts that uh, carry on 20, 30, 40, 100 years. It's, it's hard to know how long it can carry on. I just want to hear his response when asked head on, why? Why are you doing that? Why, why are you doing the demolition on the roof depot when people at Little Earth matter there? No, I'm not going to stop it. We are not going to. We do not want demo on the our mat. Our people at Little Earth Matter. Why do you? Why are you here for your show? You're here for your show, and you're going to take pictures with us. But then you're gonna you're gonna sit there and you're gonna you're gonna pollute us. You're not welcome here. Our indigenous people do not care about your mayor. Frey. Why don't you answer my question? Dawn, uh, indigenous relatives and allies, and East Phillips residents began an occupation of the roof depot site, demanding that the city of Minneapolis call off the demolition set for February the 27th. Oh. Minneapolis is acting on environmental racism that will further the genocide of indigenous people and community members of South Minneapolis. If action is not taken by the city to meet all of our demands for justice, community members of East Phillips and close partners are prepared to maintain our current occupation of the roof depot. This community-led group has issued the following list of demands to the city. Total relocation of the Hiawatha expansion project. Yes. Hand over control of the roof depot site to the indigenous community and community of South Minneapolis. <laughs> Plan to remove of Butonimus roadways and Smith Foundry. <laughs> Provide funding for the community's vision for an indoor urban farm at the roof depot site. <laughs> We invite everybody, you know, all of our relatives from all across Turtle Island to come and join us here in this fight on stolen, unceded land. This land that we're currently residing on falls under treaties uh, signed under Fort Snelling in the early 1800s that were not honored, that were broken by the United States government. 
And we were asked this morning by the fire department and Minneapolis Police Department and told that we were trespassing. And there is no trespassing on stolen land. That's right. That's right. So the message is clear. These are our demands, and we're not leaving until these demands are met. Thank you. Back up. You're trespassing. Or you can go to jail. I'm not trespassing on stolen land. We're giving you a chance so you don't want to go to jail. But this way, please. I don't don't touch me. Oh. Do not touch me. Well, you're gonna don't to touch me. You you're can take me to jail. I'm not going anywhere. No, it is what you want to do or you wouldn't be here. So we were having dinner at uh, the camp. <laughs> and the entire Minneapolis Police Department came. Um, they shut down Hiawatha 27th, um, completely surrounded the camp. It was the entire Minneapolis Police Department. Um, on the south side, they came in with a saw and they cut the fence and they came in that way. And they stood in a line for a long time, like right on the edge of where the tents were. And there were several of our people that were going up and negotiating with them. And eventually those negotiations didn't work and they pressed to our second line, which was like an, an inside fence in, within the camp. Um, they took down all of those tents that were on that part that they took and then they stood there at that second line for a while. And one of the police officers actually pulled us aside and said, hey, you know, this order came directly from the mayor, from Mayor Fry." and um, that they were just doing their jobs, quote unquote. We're here at the state capitol talking to uh, the House of Representatives trying to get them to appropriate a hundred million dollars to the East Phillips Neighborhood Institute so we can buy out the city. Um, we're going to the state so that we can basically overrule what the city has said is going to happen and, and if we get the state's support then we can end it right here. I feel so much here and, and as I was looking at the handouts that were shared, um, some words really struck out to me that, you know, we're done with the government taking from us and what has been taken and put on us um, and yet in the face of that to continue to come here to rise up with this vision um, for not just ourselves but have solutions for our entire communities right beyond just indigenous folks beyond black and brown folks this is good for everybody um, I think we ought to support that the fact of the matter is that we're people who have done more with less and this bill gives us a, a sure footing to do more with more and so i hope that what we see and what we've heard here is that we look at this bill and we look at this community and vision um that maybe we can dream a little bit more like the folks who just came before us so, miigwech and i just want to say it's been an honor to chair this committee today um I just am so proud of you all for coming forward and fighting for your communities, and I just want to take this opportunity to say that. So with that, we'll move to um, our vote. Uh, Chair Hassan renews her motion that House File 2093 be re-referred to the Capital Investment Committee. Chair Hassan. Chair Hassan votes aye. Hassan, aye. Vice Chair Hansen. Vice Chair Hansen, aye. Vice Chair Hansen, aye. Lee Kosnick? No. Kosnick? No. Representative Fikes? Aye. Rep. Vice? Aye. Rep. Katiza Watun? Aye. Rep. Katiza Watun? Aye. Rep. Kozlowski? Aye. Rep. Kozlowski? Aye. Rep. Richardson? Excused? Rep. Richardson? Excused. Rep. Smith? Aye. Rep. Smith? Aye. Rep. Jean? Excused. Rep. Igo? No. Rep. Igo? No. Rep. Merriman? No. Rep. Perryman? No. Rep. Schumacher? No. Rep. Schumacher? No. Rep. Wiener? No. Rep. Wiener? No. With that, the roll has been closed. Thank you, and with that, House File 2093 has been re-referred to the Capital Investment Committee. And the final votes, I'm sorry, I'm new here, guys. Thank you for rolling <laughs> with me on this one. Um, having... 
Six eyes and five nays. House file two zero nine three. Is in here. Finance and Policy Committee here at the Minnesota State Capitol, which means now that our bill will move on to the House for the House to vote on it, and then after the House, it will go to the Senate and then to the Governor and um, our Lieutenant Governor, Sister Peggy Flanagan. So this is definitely another win after our win last week in the in the court where we were granted our temporary uh, restraining order through injunction. So this is huge. Um, this is some. You know, this bill, we've tried this the third time, we've tried to pass this bill through this committee, um, and we won today. So it's another victory. Rachel Thunder. Hello, my name is Rachel Thunder. I'm Plains Cree First Nations. I'm with the American Indian Movement and the Indigenous Protectors Movement. Thank you to Chair Pappas and members of the Capital Investments Committee for hearing our bill. I also want to thank Senator Fate for, um, for carrying this bill and for the community members who are here in support today that I would ask at this time to stand up briefly so that we can acknowledge them. This bill that is before you not only would be momentous for the state of Minnesota in urban ecological restoration, creating green jobs for Minnesotans, and com combating environmental racism, but this bill would also set a national precedence for... This is an amazing opportunity. This is a great national project. And the one thing APNI and the community and board has promised, we will not let you down. We will make you very proud of this community by the work we're doing and the work we're creating that you see right here. We plan to do so well that even the mayor, Jacob Fry, will come begging to be at the groundbreaking and the ribbon cutting on this project. That's how well we're going to do. So uh, we'd like to call the Little Earth, the Little Earth elders up to receive this buffalo robe with the demands of the roof people. Hey, let's give our elders a round of applause. Elders. You gotta come accept this buffalo hide. How about yeah, we give our elders, elders three ho was? Ho wa, ho wa, ho wa. One more time, that was kind of lame. Three ho was. Ho wa. 